Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K17 Pro Am game going against the 46 and 24 wolf pack today as Brian packing it inside the paint early on that slam and then the rejection on the other end the big man's cooking early on his grand badge is already activated as we squeeze one inside the Josh and he gets that slam dunk with Josh having his slasher I feel more obligated to just squeeze those passes into tight lanes because right you know I wouldn't force that pass with a sharpshooter or anything like that but with his slasher I could just give him a little bit of space just squeeze that pass in there i know we could finish you know once he gets in the restricted area as that's gonna be blocked i believe walsh comes up with the rejection and the board might go running and there it is right there on this play got a little man in there especially josh is going up with the shot and he's probably finishing his end of the shot clock we actually get an offensive three right here i did not realize i was setting that screen inside the paint so that was just a brain fart by me and then on the other end they get their big man going early on and this team didn't really have much of an identity so i mean they didn't have the best record so that is something that is not too surprising but, you know, usually, you know, some teams like to shoot a lot. Some teams will go into the paint with their guys. They maybe even a post scorer as Michael gets that three-pointer to break up the tie game early on. But these guys were just, you know, spreading the rock, trying to find out whatever worked possible for them as we put up the shot. And it actually doesn't go in. I thought that was, you know, pretty decent look. But I guess the big man was able to get some sort of contest on it as that is a foul on us. That Walsh and I did a good job double teaming right there. But I guess there was some sort of contact as Walsh gets the deflection. We pick up his ball. Look who's up ahead head throwing it down my man is out and about right now and he's scoring a lot early on for us and right now the theme right now is oh whoa that's a shooting foul right there i don't know if it should have been but my man maybe he jumped a little bit too early sometimes you read defensive passes too well in games whether it's madden or 2k or whatever as we're running up ahead putting it up and one finish inside and we're gonna make the free throw convert for our first three points of the game wide open in the corner is michael and he he knocks it down so a lot of times you guys watch these videos you guys will see michael's you know got the mismatch stretch four open from way downtown and all that but sometimes you'll see games like this where you know they actually respect him because i wanted to go to him right there but you know they're stuck on him like wide on race so and that's the thing you gotta do with stretch bigs obviously some teams just you know especially with the stretch four you lose sight of them as oh the hammers dropped on brian right there so with that happening it's not the worst thing in the world that means there's a lot more force spacing for everyone else to operate whether it's myself driving josh with his slasher or brian in the paint so you know that's why it's you know it's a cause and effect of how much you respect sharpshooters and their range and all of that as that's going to be a turnover on the bounce pass they're running they got a man up ahead but they pull up the three and get it to go and that's going to give them the lead heading to the halftime locker room as you guys check the stats it's a lot of josh early on in this game most of that just coming from running and gunning but for them no real star of their offense right now is you know they're just forcing passes inside i don't know how in the world that shot went in right there look like some good defense by walsh who has been pretty silent according to the stats but if you guys are watching these clips, you guys see all the impacts he's making on the defensive end, all the rotations he's making, and obviously, you know, he's in the corner right there, spacing out, and that's going to give Brian some space to operate inside the paint he is able to finish as we're looking inside this time to Josh. And that was mainly our game plan. Like I said, they're respecting the outside, so we go inside naturally, and it's working out very well for us, whether it's Josh's slasher or Brian's big man. Those two, are they got the hot hand so far today as they got the corner three and the lead in a game that is one of those games that I've mentioned before where no one ever goes on that run basketball a game of runs but a lot of times in the pro -M, this just seems to happen where we're just going back and forth and back and forth and it makes it a very interesting and intense game and it's, there's never a dull moment inside of it as you see we're just trading buckets right now but there is some good defense involved as well and you know like i said people are taking away others as tendencies and stuff like that we have five and seven so i think we're doing a pretty good job of setting up the offense so far i believe we only have that one turnover from that offensive three which you know you know it's just as long as we're not throwing bad passes or anything like that as you see josh able to finish inside right there really meant to get at the brian it's all good as that shot is blocked michael with the rebound we are looking up ahead saw josh a little bit too late but we're just gonna squeeze it in there to brian and we are up by five early on starting to get a handle of this game one thing i think we do a pretty good job of is when the fourth quarter comes 
you know, you learn everything your opponent wants to do, all their tendencies, and that's really the best time to lock in on defense. And that's what the elite teams do in the fourth quarter. They get the scouting report on you, and then, you know, they're just ready to go. And if you don't have a plan B or a plan C or a plan D even, you know, you're in trouble. And I'm not sure how much of a plan B, C, or D this team might have based on their record, but obviously can't really judge them by their record. Once you get in the battle arena, it's just you and them, and those records just don't matter. That, you know, anybody can win any game. You see Brian inside right there, and he's starting to really take over the second half. He had a good game rebounding early on, had some decent points scored early on, but he's really taking over in the second half, and unfortunately, so is the opposing big man. He's starting to get some easy looks inside. You see, they reach. We're going up with the floater, and it's able to go over the center, and the lead just continues to be traded, but this is a big-time steal. In a game like this, turnovers can affect it vastly as Josh gets the dunk inside the paint. Once again, squeezing those passes inside, consistently doing that all game long. It's going to Walsh right here, and ooh, he's able to draw a foul. I don't know if that was really a foul, but that was kind of like, you know, some of the stuff that happened to us earlier in the game, so I guess it's just, you know, 2K even in itself out as they go inside to the big man, but look at Brian rotating over back to his guy, getting the contest. We're able to help him out on the defensive rebound, looking for cutters, looking for anyone, and we eventually just slow this thing down and find a wide open man. Man in the corner. Oh, Walsh had one of his only clean looks of the game. Couldn't knock it down. But look at Brian going to work one-on-one. -on -one, and it's a seven-point game. And it's what I said earlier. It's a lot of our defense really taking over this game. It's right on cue. That's a steal. We're breaking loose. Oh, cocky. Back a little bit harder. Why don't you? Because you might get blocked if you do that. We're working on a double-double. We can get one more bucket. More importantly, working on the victory. Got Walsh on the cut. But they just smacked that ball out of there gonna give them some life under a minute to go they need buckets they need a lot to happen that was a good start quick buckets are what they need right now and they need us to not chew up the entire shot clock you know what we did we took away the entire shot clock end of this thing we're not gonna get a good shot we're actually gonna get blocked and it's a violation but we took away 24 seconds and basically now if they score they gotta foul us so you know, mission really accomplished on that thing, even though we didn't get a bucket right there. And they're taking a lot of time to try to find the shot. Obviously, they want the three. We're taking that away, guarding the perimeter heavily. He wanted that. He pump fakes. And eventually, you got to go for the two-point shot, and they can't even get that. It's blocked. Oh, it went off the rebound. They get it, but there's only 8.6 seconds left. So much time went off, and they still have to foul us, and they are not even, or we're not in the bonus yet. They need to foul us again as Michael looking to inbound it. Oh, very dangerous. Thankfully, we got away with that one. Went back out of bounds. That could be either. That bounce could have gone out of way. Thankfully, it went our way. Is we're going to get the ball right here. Looking to pass it up ahead to ice the game. But they actually called the foul as we were in the passing motion. Not the worst thing in the world because our free throw is maxed out. 94 is the highest you can get. And that means we're pretty much going to make both these free throws unless we drastically mess up. And I didn't even get a good release on that last one. But we still make two out of two. 3.2 seconds left. You know, obviously, don't want to give up the quick three. The main thing you don't want to do is foul because that means the clock won't be ticking down while they're shooting the ball. Somehow, they get a wide open three out of this. And not it down but with a second left they need practically a miracle there's no turnover on the inbound and that is the game as Walsh knocks down the full goal shot that's gonna count right there by the way he just put it up there why not and pff, splash and that's just the dagger right there for sure leave a like in this video if you guys enjoyed a good game to these guys man hard fought game we just made the clutch plays we got two big time steals in that one everybody locked in defensively you guys saw brian and walsh and everybody rotating out there and that's what it takes to get a victory so leave a like in this video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more nba 2k 17 pro am and my career games and i'm gonna catch you guys next time